Welcome back. Um, the next song in our um, service here is Psalm 23 by Stuart Townend. Um, it's not one, as when I go into um, ProPresenter and do a search for Psalm 23, it's not one that comes up in my library. So I'm going to look down here in the song select one. And down here I see Psalm 23, Stuart Townend. And it's the, it is the lyrics that I want. So I'm going to click on the little plus here. And it's going to allow me to add this song to our list, uh, to our database. Again, template, I want to have be that upper third one. So I'm going to scroll up there and then go over and click on the box to select that upper third. And now I can click import. When I import from uh, song select, you'll see that it, it actually um, includes the uh, tags for verses, for choruses, all that kind of thing in uh, the material as it comes in. It does not, however, have the uh, background slide or the blank slide that I like to have on, on these. So I'm going to go ahead and add two slides. So I can click the plus. First one here, as you see, it's got that upper third template. So I'm going to right click and choose template default. Go over and click that uh, one there so it doesn't have that box that the text goes in. This one is going to be, I'm going to right click again and say new group. This one's going to be for our background. I'm going to add another slide. See it, it hangs on to the last one that was the last template that was used. The last one is default, so this is still okay. And this one I'm going to make a new group. This one's going to be my blank for at the very end of the song. In this um, background here, I want to put, let's see, I've got a shepherd. Is that what I had? Yeah. Uh -huh. I know I need to add that picture. So I'm going to go down here to the pluses down under the in the in the pictures down here. Click the plus. It's going to go out to my pictures area there. And I'm going to look for I'm trying to remember if it's sheep or shepherd what it was I found. Mm. I remember what the what it was called. Thought I had. Good Shepherd. Okay, I guess I didn't save the uh, picture before, so I went just am going out to. Um, to Google looking up uh, shepherd picture. I'm going to probably choose this one. I think that looks like a pretty nice one. Yeah, we'll go ahead and use that. So I'm going to right click it. I'm going to say save image as. We'll put it here in the pictures library. Let's call it shepherd. I'm going to save it there on the computer, close the browser. Now I'm going to go out here and add Shepherd. 
There's my shepherd picture. Open that. Adds it to the library. Now I can use it. So here's my shepherd picture I want to use. I'm going to make that the background. And now we'll kind of arrange things. We'll put the background as the first slide in this. I still need to uh, arrange here a little bit. So let's I need to make a new arrangement. Add a new arrangement there. So what I did there is let me just cancel this for a moment and go back to that. So to get to that, this little thing that looks like a uh, kind of like an org chart, click that. It brings up the tokens here that tell what different things are in the song. But I need to have more than that, so I'm going to go ahead and add a new arrangement. We're going to call it default. Okay, so that populated that with all the stuff. I don't use the descant in what I want on the slides, so I'm going to take that one out. So I just go verse one, the Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. He makes me lie in pastures green. He leads me by still the still, still waters, his goodness restores my soul. And I will trust in you alone. I will trust in you alone. For your endless mercy follows me. Your goodness will lead me home. Then I go on to verse 2. And after verse 2, I want another chorus. So I'm going to grab the chorus. Drag it down here. Drop it in after verse 2. So there you see that. Added that in there. And then after first, uh, come on, grab a, another chorus, stick it in there after verse three. And I'm trying to remember whether I have two choruses. I'm going to look at the words here. Scroll down. Yes, I do the chorus twice. Oh, and then I have a little ending piece too. So. All right, so I need chorus. Now I have a choice here. I could either uh, just leave it that way because uh, it's just the last two lines for you. Endless mercy follows me. Your goodness will lead me home. Uh, we can just leave that up. Uh, so I think I'm going to do it that way and not... Uh, make a separate slide for for that same ending. Uh, so we'll just leave that one up. And so that one is now ready. We'll go ahead and add that to our playlist.